Remember demos? Good old times when we could properly test almost finished games without actually being guinea pigs for early and beta access games. Thankfully Square decided to give us demo of Oninaki, upcoming action JRPG. Here are my thoughts after playing through story and battle mode. Obviously story mode is just a snippet of the real deal. In Oninaki we are watchers who serve as guidance to lost souls. There isn't much to comment on regarding story from the demo, it could be quite an interesting one, we'll see where it goes. Dialogue and characters seem interesting enough. Oh. So, so. Oi. So Watchers can traverse from living to dead world any time during the game. That adds more exploration options because you can find different enemies, items and paths that way. Interesting mechanic definitely. Game seems to be very linear, so having two different layouts per map helps in battling the potential tedium. Things I can comment on the most from the demo are combat and progression system. Combat is action oriented, but there are nuances to it. Weapon and moveset depends on the currently active demon, or daemon, whatever. Daemons are special lost souls that are aligned with watchers. Very cool mechanic, especially because you can have up to 4 demons active at the same time and switch between them whenever. Every demon comes with unique skill tree that can alter current moves or add new ones. There is potential for some interesting builds. What bothers me is the fact that there are only 4 stats that define a character. Attack, defense, speed and inertia. That limits build potential to an extent. These stats depend on the active demon. Progression system in general looks ok, but nothing special. We'll see when full version hits. Combat is good enough. There is enough diversity to make the combat interesting for longer periods of time, mostly because of demons. I'm hoping there will be plenty to choose from in the full version. Key is combining defensive and special moves. Every demon offers different defensive and offensive movesets. With Aisha you can dash, Zav offers jump, Wheel can block and so on. That is quite interesting and important mechanic because bosses on highest difficulty are challenging and have different movesets. Sometimes dashing is better, while other time jumping is better choice. Special moves are primary way of doing massive damage and operate on cooldown mechanic. In battle mode when you are given level 20 character and 4 demons, special moves can be used all the time. There are only 4 slots for special moves, however. Downside of using special moves all the time is that affinity gauge fills up slower. By using normal attacks affinity gauge will fill up faster. When affinity gauge reaches 100% and above you can enter special mode where you can do more damage, you don't get staggered as much and overall your stats become better. Oninaki seems like an interesting JRPG that can end up being a good game. It mostly depends on how deep progression will be, by that I mean how many demons will there be and how interesting the story is going to be. Except for being linear I don't have negative things to say about it from this brief experience. On PC there is also button layout problem that I'm hoping is going to get fixed in the end because playing with this predefined setup isn't very good. Anyway that will be all for this video, it's just a brief impression on Oninaki, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching you weeboo bastards and see you all soon.